Financial freedom means having enough money to live your life the way you want without constantly worrying about how to pay your bills. It's when your finances are no longer a daily concern and you can focus on the things that truly matter, like spending time with family, pursuing passions, or traveling. For many, financial freedom feels out of reach, but it doesn't have to be. The key is understanding how money works and taking steps to control it. This process is called financial education. By learning about personal finance and practicing good habits, anyone can improve their financial situation. In this video, I'll show you the seven stages of financial freedom. These stages act as a roadmap, guiding you from financial struggle to financial independence. Whether you're just starting your journey or already on the path, this guide will help you understand where you are and what steps to take next. Financial freedom isn't just for the wealthy, it's possible for anyone with the right knowledge and plan. Number one, clarity, knowing where you are financially. The first step to financial freedom is understanding exactly where you stand with your money. This means taking a clear look at your income, expenses, debts, and savings. Many people feel overwhelmed when it comes to managing money, but this stage is all about getting organized and honest with yourself. Start by listing all your income sources, like your job or side gigs. Then write down all your expenses, such as rent, groceries, bills, and any other regular costs. Don't forget to include any debt you have, like credit cards or loans. Finally, check how much you have saved. Once you know these details, you'll have a complete picture of your financial situation. This clarity is the foundation for achieving financial freedom. It helps you understand where your money is going and how you can make better choices to improve your personal finances. Remember, you can't fix what you don't know, so getting clear on your finances is the first important step. Using apps or budgeting tools can make this easier and help you stay on track as you move through the next stages of financial freedom. Number two, financial security, building a safety net. After getting clear on your finances, the next step toward financial freedom is building financial security. This means having a small safety net to protect you from unexpected expenses, like medical bills, car repairs, or losing your job. Financial security helps you feel more in control and less stressed when things don't go as planned. To create this safety net, you need to start saving for an emergency fund. Ideally, this fund should cover three to six months of living expenses, such as rent, groceries, and bills. Having this money set aside gives you peace of mind, knowing that you can handle emergencies without going into debt. You don't need to save this all at once. Start small by putting aside a little money each week or month. You can open a separate savings account just for emergencies to avoid spending it on non-urgent things. The key is to save regularly and consistently. Building financial security is a crucial step because it gives you a strong foundation to tackle bigger financial goals later. With a safety net in place, you can focus on paying off debt or investing without the constant worry of financial surprises. Number three, debt freedom, breaking free from debt. One of the biggest obstacles to financial freedom is debt. Debt can feel like a heavy burden, making it hard to save money or invest for your future. To reach debt freedom, the goal is to reduce and eventually eliminate all unnecessary debts. This includes things like credit card balances, personal loans, and any other money you owe with high interest rates. There are two main types of debt, good debt and bad debt. Good debt is money borrowed for things that can improve your life in the long run, like a mortgage for a home or student loans for education. Bad debt, on the other hand, is usually high interest debt like credit cards or payday loans, which can quickly spiral out of control if not managed properly. To break free from debt, start by listing all the debts you owe from smallest to largest, along with their interest rates. A popular strategy for paying off debt is the snowball method, where you pay off the smallest debt first while making minimum payments on the others. Once that debt is gone, move on to the next smallest one. This method helps you see quick progress and stay motivated. Another approach is the avalanche method, where you pay off the debt with the highest interest rate first. This can save you more money over time, but may take longer to feel progress. Debt freedom is crucial for achieving financial independence. The less money you owe, the more you can save and invest in your future. Becoming debt-free is a huge milestone on the journey to financial freedom. Number four, financial stability, living below your means. Once you've cleared your debt, 
The next step toward financial freedom is achieving financial stability. This means learning to live below your means, spending less money than you earn. It's a simple idea, but it's a key habit that will help you save more, avoid debt, and build wealth over time. Living below your means doesn't mean you have to live poorly. Instead, it's about making smart financial choices. This could mean cutting back on unnecessary spending, sticking to a budget, or finding cheaper alternatives for things you need. For example, cooking at home instead of eating out, or buying used car instead of a brand new one. A popular budgeting rule is the 50 hours, 30 minutes, and 20 seconds rule. It suggests spending 50% of your income on needs, like rent and food, 30% on wants, like entertainment, and saving 20% for future goals. This helps you control your spending while still enjoying life. By living below your means, you create extra room in your budget to save and invest, moving you closer to financial independence. The key is to resist the urge to spend more as your income grows, a common trap called lifestyle inflation. Stay disciplined, and you'll build a strong financial foundation for the future. Number five, financial independence. Your money works for you. At this stage, you're aiming for financial independence. This means your money is working for you, not the other way around. In simple terms, your investments or other passive income streams, like rental income or dividends, generate enough money to cover your living expenses. When you reach this stage, you don't have to rely on a paycheck to live. To achieve financial independence, you need to focus on investing. Saving money is important, but investing helps your money grow over time. This could be through stocks, bonds, real estate, or other investments. The key to making your money work for you is something called compound interest. It means you earn interest not just on your original investment, but also on the interest that grows over time, like a snowball getting bigger. A great way to start investing is by learning the basics of the stock market, understanding real estate opportunities, or contributing to retirement accounts like a 401k or IRA. The earlier you start investing, the more time your money has to grow. Another important idea is diversification, which means spreading your money across different types of investments to reduce risk. This way, if one investment doesn't do well, others can still perform better and balance things out. Reaching financial independence gives you more freedom in life. You could choose to work less, retire early, or focus on things you're passionate about. It's a major step toward financial freedom because now, instead of working for money, your money is working for you. Number six, financial abundance, more than enough. At the financial abundance stage, you have more money than you need to live comfortably. This means you've reached a point where your investments and savings generate more income than you actually spend. You not only cover your basic needs, but you also have extra money for your wants, luxuries, and even for helping others if you choose. Financial abundance gives you the freedom to pursue bigger goals and dreams. Maybe you want to travel the world, start a business, or support a cause you're passionate about. At this stage, you can make those choices without worrying about running out of money. Even though you have more than enough, it's still important to practice good financial habits. Continue learning about investments and protecting your wealth. Many people who reach this stage focus on philanthropy or giving back, using their financial abundance to make a positive impact on others' lives. Reaching financial abundance is not just about having wealth, but also about having the freedom to live your life fully, on your own terms, without financial worries. It's the point where you can enjoy the fruits of your financial journey. Number seven, financial freedom, living life on your terms. The final stage is financial freedom, where you have full control over your life without worrying about money. At this point, your finances are completely in order and your income from savings and investments covers all your expenses, allowing you to live life on your own terms. Financial freedom means you have the flexibility to do what you want, when you want. You can retire early, travel, pursue hobbies, start a business, or spend more time with loved ones. The pressure of earning a paycheck is no longer there, giving you total freedom to choose how you spend your time. While reaching financial freedom is a major achievement, it's important to maintain good financial habits to stay in this stage. Continue managing your money wisely, keep investing, and stay informed about personal finance. This way, you can sustain your freedom for the rest of your life. Living with financial freedom isn't just about having enough money, it's about having the freedom to make choices that align with your values and passions, 
without the stress of financial limitations. This is the ultimate goal of the financial journey, living a life of true freedom and flexibility. Practical steps to start your journey to financial freedom today. Starting your journey to financial freedom doesn't have to be complicated. Begin by creating a simple budget to track your income and expenses. This will help you understand where your money is going. Next, build an emergency fund by saving a little each month, even if it's just a small amount. Then, tackle any high-interest debt by paying it off as quickly as possible. Once you're debt-free, start investing for your future, even if it's just a small amount in a retirement account or stock market. Stay consistent and keep learning about personal finance to reach your goals. Financial freedom is not just a dream. It's something anyone can achieve with the right steps and mindset. By following the seven stages of financial freedom, you can move from financial stress to financial security and eventually reach a point where money is no longer a worry. It's all about taking small, consistent actions, understanding your current financial situation, saving, paying off debt, and investing for the future. The journey may take time, but every step forward brings you closer to living life on your terms. Whether you're just starting or already on your way, remember that financial freedom is possible for everyone. Stay focused, keep learning, and you'll reach your goals. Your journey to financial freedom starts today. Now, if you want to learn how to achieve financial success, then watch this video next. If you made it to this point in the video, please like and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.